Hey guys, and welcome to Facebook Friday. My name is Eric Hammond of The Orange Stack, and I'm super excited to have you here today. This is gonna be a good one. We're talking about distributing your information, the stuff that you know that makes you you. What stands out for you guys as a real estate agent? What makes you different than all the other millions of real estate agents out there in the United States today selling houses just like you? That's what we're gonna talk about in the show today, so let's go right into it. Hey guys, and welcome back. Eric Hammond here with The Orange Stack. I appreciate you guys being here live every Friday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific, as we cover content and topics that are relevant to your business on how to grow your real estate business, how to do more in real estate, and how to use marketing to disrupt your community and your farm and everything that you're doing. Guys, how's your week been so far? I keep asking how the market's going. I wanted to hear how everything's going in your area. It is quarter two right now. We just hit April, depending on when you watch this show. And man, things are changing over here. I've been looking at a few houses with some clients over here and it's interesting to see how just a few weeks ago the offers were a little slow things were changing a little bit and now they're picking up houses are going under contract so where are you guys in your market what's going on in your area tell me about it love to hear in the post below the other thing I want to do I would love for you guys to have me show up first in your news feed I know you get tons of information tons of posts tons of Tons of ads, honestly. You probably get more ads than you ever want to deal with. But I want to show up first in your feed, which means that you basically go to the notifications area of our page and you basically say, see it first, which allows me to show up right when you open Facebook. I want to be delivering content to you on a daily basis, something that's going to be able to help your business grow, help you get past the struggles and everything that you're going through right now in your business. So that's my ask for you today. I'm going to give you a great show today. We're going to cover some incredible content about how to get your content out there and about how to change the way people see your business and what it is that you do as a real estate agent. I think that most people struggle with this. Most people think, you know what, I'm going to hire my agent. He's going to bring, or she's going to bring, sorry. They're going to bring out a sign. They're going to dig a hole in my grass. They're going to stick that thing in the yard. They're going to hang their big advertisement. They're going to collect a massive commission check and I'm going to have to pack up all my stuff and move. That's pretty much what they think that you're doing. There's a few out there I know who really appreciate what a real estate agent does, but why do you think there's so many for sale by owners out there? They don't understand the value that you guys bring, how you disrupt this community that we're in, how you help sell homes, how you get people the most amount of money for their property when they go to sell it. So we're going to talk today and share with you guys why sharing your content is so vital in today's world. We have these in every pocket. There's a cell phone in everyone's pocket that I've ever met, probably, except for my little kids outside who don't have a cell phone yet, but soon enough they will and they'll be digesting your content just like you. So what can we share in our businesses that's going to help separate us from everybody else, guys? I'm a real estate agent. I've been a real, in real estate for over 10 years. I know it's challenging to find new clients and to help them understand the value that you bring. The first thing I think that most people or most clients are looking at is how do I get a discount? How do I get you to list my house for 1% or take a commission? reduction or do it for free, right? The friends and family discount. Let's get into some of these ideas. I got a bunch of bullet points today I want to cover. And as usual, I just want to go through this, bring the values for you, pull out what it is that you're looking for in your business right now. So the first one is give it all away, guys. Don't hold back. Okay. So think about it this way. When you go on a listing appointment, that's when you bring the value, right? You show up, you've got all your paperwork, you sit down, you're there for an hour or two, you're ready to go. And you're saying, look, this is how I sell homes. You've been walked through the whole property. You know what they're looking for. You know the price that they want to make. Uh, or, or get for their house and now you lay it all on them. This is the first time that they're probably ever going to know about what it is that you offer because they're not going to know who you are for the most time. Maybe you got a referral from a friend for this or maybe they saw an ad that you had uh, but for the most part they don't know the value that you're bringing. So this is the first time they get to hear about that. What if you could take a step back and say what if I could teach my clients and show them before I get there everything that I offer and that they're going to come seek me out because this is how I sell real estate and this is how I do things different. So my last bullet point on here which I wasn't planning on going this route but maybe this makes more sense. My last bullet point on here is to actually create your listing presentation and make it available for the world to see. Let me just let that sink in for a sec. What if you did your listing presentation online? Maybe you did it in like a webinar uh, platform. Maybe you had a video that ran on YouTube. Maybe there's a way that you can show people how you sell houses before you even get there. And I know you can't make it super specific to, you know, a condo or a townhouse or a single family house, but the principles apply, right? How do you price your homes? Maybe you talk about how you look at comparables and what's going on in that area. And you obviously can't get too specific again, but if you said, okay, if all the homes in your neighborhood are selling for whatever, $500,000, we should price it at X because this, this, and this. Based on condition, I would suggest we do this, this, and this, right? You talk about the same things that you would talk about during the listing appointment. 
appointment. Hopefully you've got your listing appointment down so that it makes sense. You can roll right through with it. This is a great way to practice. I would set up a camera just like we're doing here. Have some nice backdrop or some way of doing this in your office or even meeting with staged listing appointment people so that you can show them how your listing presentation works. But go through the whole thing. Talk about repairs, talk about pricing, talk about staging, talk about how you're gonna show the house. If you do open houses, how are you gonna present the house? How are you gonna look at offers? How are you gonna negotiate the offers? If you go into a multiple offer situation, all those kind of things. Now here's where the question that's gonna come from you is, Eric, if I show everybody everything that I do, they're all gonna steal my ideas. They're gonna do everything that I do and I don't have a leg up. I don't have any hedge against the competition. Really? Because you understand that if you presented your information in front of 100 real estate agents, 99 of them would not take action. 99% of people don't take action when you tell them what to do or how to do it or the process of doing it. Right now, I know that thousands of people will see this video and very few will actually do what I'm telling them to do here. But someday you'll come back and watch this video again or you'll see another way uh, of doing it or you'll hear somebody else say it in the same way and it'll just click, okay? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's Guys, there's almost 2 million real estate agents throughout the United States. There was 40,000 agents in my county when we were selling houses. There's people who would do similar things to what we were doing, but I guarantee that there is nobody else just like you, right? You have your own personality, your own quirks, your own ideas, your own way of thinking about things, your own strategies, your own charisma and way in connecting with people. Two people could show up on the same listing appointment, present the same material, the same strategy, and completely bomb one of them and completely completely win the appointment on the other. So don't worry about it. You're gonna win who you're gonna win. You're gonna lose who you're gonna lose. People are gonna connect with you for who you are, not because of the way that you sell a house. We talk about this a lot around here with content, right? Sharing your content, sharing your information on these devices, sharing like in a vlog format of who you are, what makes you you, what you're passionate about, why are you different than everybody else is what's gonna connect you with people, right? So if I'm, let's just give me a couple examples. If I'm a car guy and I'm like, hey, I love cars and this is what I do on the weekend and, and I fix up cars and I go to car shows and I'm the car guy, you're gonna connect with all the car people. If you're like, hey, I'm a, a, a gym fiend and I'm in the gym every morning at 4 a.m. and I'm working out and I'm doing all my CrossFit and I'm and I'm ripped and I'm just, that's my, that's my thing. You're gonna connect to the people who are in shape and who do marathons and who work out. It's just like attracts like, right? So you're gonna connect with who you're gonna connect with. There's no way that you're gonna be able to connect with everybody. There's no way that you're gonna have a 100% close ratio of everybody who's selling in this county or your county or wherever it is that you're selling real estate, but you're gonna connect to the people that wanna connect with you who wanna do business with you, okay? So think about it that way. Find a way to stand out. Find a way to connect to the people who know you, who are looking for the people like you, who you can relate to on that kind of basis. That's why you share your hobbies. That's why you share your interests. That's why you, you put yourself out there so that people can connect with you and see who you are and what it is that you're passionate about. So that's how you get your content out there. So think about, again, presenting your information in like a webinar platform, somewhere that you can maybe make it 30 to 45 minutes, tease them to get there, show them what it is that you do. Say, if you're thinking about selling your house, this is how I do it. This is how I'm gonna come to your house show you how to sell homes, get your house on the market and sell it for the most amount of money possible because of this, this, and this. Makes sense, okay? Yes, other agents are gonna see your video. Yes, they're probably gonna try to steal your ideas, some of them, but there's no way that they're gonna be you. There's no way that they're gonna be able to mimic the things that you do in your business, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay, number two is you gotta give it away for free. You're thinking, oh, sweet, okay, I can create this webinar, I'm gonna charge admission, people are gonna pay me hundreds of dollars to come. You're gonna have to pay to get them to show up. And it's gonna be worth it, and this is why. Because when I share everything that I'm great at, speaking for you, it makes me the expert, okay? If I just said, yeah, you know what, I sell houses. I sell a bunch of them. I'm amazing. I'm incredible at what I do. Anybody can say that. Anybody can say that they can sell houses. What makes you the expert? Why are you so different than anybody else? Think about the people that you see on, uh, uh, I don't wanna say broadcasting shows, but television and, and in the media who, who talk about advice, who give their strategies away for free, right? They give it away because they know that it separates them from everybody else. The people who wanna charge, who wanna say, look, I'm, I'm happy to tell you how I do things, but I want a hundred bucks for this or a thousand dollars for that, or come buy my $10,000 course. They're the ones that only can sell to a few people and maybe they've done something in the past, but they're not the expert anymore. You guys are living this, breathing it, eating it. It's what you do every single day. This is my voice today. So give it away. Show people that you know your stuff. The more confident that you are on camera, the more that you can give this information away and show people how you do things, they're going to stand out. Because again, not everyone's going to see this video. Not everyone's going to understand how they do this. 
And so by you being the one that chooses to share this content with everybody and you getting it out there and you're saying, look, this is how I sell homes. I do this, I do this, I do this. They, these homeowners who are seeing this content may have never heard of these strategies before, even though everyone might be doing that. They might be staging homes. They might be pro taking professional photos. They might be helping people fix up their kitchen and do remodels and making the house amazing. Not every homeowner knows that. When we were selling houses, we used to teach a seminar. Uh, we do like six of them a month and we would show people, the homeowners, how we sold houses. They would come to this event, they were 70 years old, they bought and sold homes before, and they'd said, nobody ever told us that this is how real estate's done. Nobody showed us that this is how we're so supposed to sell our house. I know we weren't the only ones doing this. I know that there's plenty of other agents selling homes the exact same way as we were, but because we were outgoing on it and we were telling the world what we were doing, it made us stand out. And it allowed us to have that reputation of being the experts in real estate. And because of that, we had a massive market share. Our team was always in the top one or two or three real estate agents in our county and in the top 1% of the United States because of this, because we were willing to share our best ideas with our clients. And you should be willing to do that too. So think about, again, what separates you? What are the top three, maybe even five things that separates you from everybody else? How do you market at home? You know, what do you do? Do you just door knock the neighborhood? Are you putting ads on Facebook? Are you creating radio ads? Are you buying Zillow ads? What are you doing to stand out? How do you stage your houses? Do you do that for free for the client or do you negotiate a good price so that they can get their staging done for an affordable price? Do you have contractors that come in and remodel the kitchen and upgrade the appliances and paint the house and replace the carpet and move around their stuff? so that it looks better. What are the top things that you do to sell houses? Those are the points of this conversation that you need to be sharing. And not just in this one webinar that I'm talking about, this one platform that you're gonna basically do your listing presentation on, but daily, right? Daily or weekly? Weekly at least, daily if you can. Just be like, next time you show up to a house to list it and you're there with your staging company, pull out your phone, be like on Instagram stories or Facebook stories, go live for a second, say, you know what, we're at the Joneses house today, it's just about to hit the market, start showing around, uh, presenting what the house looks like, saying, you know, this one's about to hit the market in the next three or four days, we're just in our final stages, there used to be a weird funky couch over here, the carpet used to be green, check out what it is now, we're going with these neutral colors so that everybody likes it, we just replaced the old tile countertops with this new Caesar stone, whatever you're doing, right? Show the ins and outs, the befores and afters. People love this information. Why do you think HDTV has so many followers? Because people like this type of content. So be willing to pull out the little camera in your pocket and share these things with the world. Guys, you can have such an incredible following. It's such interesting information that people are wanting to know about, okay? Okay, back to the bullet points. <clears throat> the next thing is as you're sharing this content, you've got to make it easy for people to digest, okay? I use my, my parents as a great example for this because I think it totally applies to where you guys are too. Most of you are super strong on Facebook. You understand it, you live it, this is where you are, it's your go-to uh, strategy. I would say number two is probably Instagram uh, and it's more males on Facebook and women on Instagram from the agents that I meet. And you're comfortable with it, it's, it's what you're just used to, right? You've been using it now for a few years, you're, either you got on there or your kids show you how to do it. But the point is, is that you're comfortable on one of those two platforms. And maybe not both, but maybe a little bit. And maybe you're not even using all the features. What I want to encourage you to do is be everywhere. Guys, there's at least six platforms that we encourage you to use. And there's at least probably a dozen more that you could probably figure out how to use that are up and coming as well. So Facebook and Instagram are number one and two. Number three would be YouTube. I would say that you need to be on YouTube. You need to be sharing five to 10 minute videos on their evergreen type of content. It's not available to you yet because you probably don't have enough followers, but I think once you get to about 10,000 followers, they let you do actually a YouTube stories version as well. So that's coming out. It'll probably be available to you, the general public in the next 18 months is my guess. They just rolled it out for people with bigger accounts, uh, but YouTube is another one. The next one being LinkedIn. It's amazing how many people are neglecting this incredible platform right now. And every time I say that, everyone's like, Eric, I'm not looking to hire anybody. I'm not looking for a new job. Why would I want to be on LinkedIn? LinkedIn is like the written version of YouTube. People go there to search for written content. They're there to digest information. They're there to read what you have to say. So be on LinkedIn, share written content, describe exactly how you sell a house, how you stand out, make it evergreen so it's relatable. Again, don't get specifics into the colors and the tile choices that you're talking about and pricing. Talk about the concept of how you sell houses and what it is that you do to stand out from your peers, okay? Share that on LinkedIn. Okay, we've covered those. Another one is Twitter. I think most of you forgot about Twitter. It was like the go-to platform of the day, but people moved on. 
It's busy as heck, but it still works. Share your content on Twitter, drive them back to your blog, drive them back to your other videos. You can share video on there as well. Use Twitter, and then the other one is Snapchat. Guys, Snapchat's still super young, but just know that if you're gonna be in real estate for the next 10 years, the people on Snapchat today will be your number one buyers in the days to come, years to come, okay? So be on Snapchat, be on Facebook, be on LinkedIn, be on Instagram, be on Twitter, and be on YouTube, and then figure out how to get into podcast and everything else that's coming, okay? So be everywhere, make it easy, because you don't know. My, my point with my parents before was that my mom and dad are in their 70s, mid 70s, okay? And if you're watching this mom, thanks for being a great example. My mom is deep, deep, deep on Instagram. That's her go-to platform. She's there every day. She just liked a couple of my photos right before this show. That's her go-to place. She loves it. It's easy to just scroll and like and, and look at what people are doing. It's easy to follow her kids, all that kind of stuff. Her next go-to platform is probably Facebook. And she's there once in a while. She'll watch a few of her friends on there because some of her friends are just on Facebook. But those are her go-to platforms. My dad on the the other hand who's in the same age demographic who lives in the same house totally same exact situation never has been on social media he's looked over my mom's shoulder at a few photos but he does not have any social media accounts he is on YouTube and that's his go-to place he doesn't have an account he's just there downloading and digesting video content he's there to look at car videos and how to fix things around the house and how do I do this and how do I do that but YouTube's his go-to platform and so if you're just super strong on Facebook or you're just super strong on Instagram you've lost that whole demographic of those males in that 70 year old range who are probably one of your preferred clients who are thinking about downsizing now that all their kids are gone they're changing their lifestyle they're doing something different when we realized the average age of our client who was selling a house was 72 years old i realized we had to pivot and shift in our marketing efforts we did a lot of research and found out that that was the average age of a seller that we were working with in our area so understand who it is that you're working with and where they are Regardless of the fact, you need to be everywhere. You need to be able to share your content on all platforms so that they can digest it at all times. You don't wanna force them into a platform that they may not wanna be on, right? If you're trying to talk to my dad, you're not gonna get him to go to Facebook. And I guarantee that there's at least several thousand people in your database, in your farm, who are the same exact way. They're on one platform, if at all, they're digesting content in that platform only. It may be AM radio, for all you know but you gotta figure out where they are and how to speak to them and how to communicate with them in the way that they digest content. You know, maybe it's radio, maybe it's the newspaper, maybe it's a magazine or a mailer, you never know, right? Just, you gotta be everywhere, that's the point. You have to be omnipresent, you have to distribute this content everywhere, okay? So, no friction, that's the point of that one, no friction. Here's another fun concept which I would consider, okay? So Zillow right now is basically the gatekeeper of all real estate information. If you need to go to that, you can. It basically holds them back from being able to see all the information of the house, right? So when someone's on Redfin or Zillow, they basically get there, they're like, oh, I want more information. This is my dream house, I love the picture. Show me more information, and it's like, oh, let me have your email. I need some information from you before I'm gonna show you this information. And that's how they sell this lead to you, right? You know how it works. What if? What if you allowed people in your area, your clients, the people that you wanted to work with to see this information for free? And obviously if they come to Zillow and Riften, you can't control that. But what if you advertise your IDX page with no barriers at all, no gatekeeper, just come and look at all the information. And I know that your IDX feeds all the information off the MLS. It's not gonna be as pretty as Zillow and Redfin unless you spend a ton of money making an incredible WordPress site. But if you have an IDX site, and you're trying to get their information. As Soon as you get to the page, it's like, hey, wait, 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 I need your email, I need your phone number, I need all this information before you can go any further. And they're like, ah, forget that, I'm just gonna go give it to Zillow because I trust them more than I trust you. That's why you're probably getting a thousand hits on your website a month and zero leads because you're asking for an email too soon. As somebody once told me, you gotta romance a girl before you ask for that information. So what if you took away all the bars and you just said, here's all the information. If anybody wants to know about any house in my neighborhood or anything that's going on in my county, I'm the one, I'm willing to share it. I'm not gonna ask for any information. Just come, engage, hear it, eat, whatever. See all the information, see everything that's available to you. I'm not gonna ask for any information. When you're ready to buy a house though, you know that I have all the information, that everything is right here. And you're like, well, Eric, how do I track these people and how do I get engage with them and how do I get their email address and how do I follow up with them? It's called retargeting. That is the beauty of how social media works. You can retarget them with Google ads, you can retarget them with Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all these platforms lets you retarget them. So when somebody comes to my page and they say, oh, show me all the information on 123 Main Street, I am so interested in this house, 
you can record that information and when they get to that page, now you can follow up with an ad saying, hey, I noticed that you were looking for homes in this city. Maybe you don't wanna get as specific as like, hey, I see you're looking at 123 Main Street because that's kind of creepy and I don't think that Facebook will let you do that. But you can basically say, hey, I see that you're searching for houses in this area. I know about all the properties. I know you've been to my website. I would love to give you this free resource, right? A guide on how to buy a house in today's market. Or here's the 10 things you need to know about selling a house in 2019, assuming that they're probably selling a house too. There's so many things that you can do to retarget these people and re-engage them after they've been to your website. And because they got all the information that they were looking for for free, they're gonna be willing to read more and digest more of what you have to say. So when I talk about giving your information away for free, I am literally talking about giving your information away for free. Don't ask for emails, don't make them pay for it, don't give any information from them, just give it away and then keep putting more content in front of them. You're gonna to have to pay to do this, but you have to pay to play to use social media. So. There's a lot to think about here. There's a lot of strategies. We've covered a lot. It's It's been some good stuff here. We've already gone 29 minutes. So we're gonna wrap this up, but basically just saying, go back and watch this show again. Share it with somebody on your team who needs to see this. Maybe you have a marketing individual or somebody that's helping you with your content. I just know that if you're willing to give your information away for free, you're gonna separate yourself from everybody else because what are all the other real estate agents doing out there right now? All they're doing is posting houses. They're saying, I just listed another one. I'm amazing. Come to my open house this weekend. And that's it. They don't say how I sell houses, what I do differently why I'm amazing why you should pay me three percent guys in my in my county that's a million or not a million dollars that's a thirty thousand dollar paycheck why are you worth that thirty thousand dollar paycheck there's got to be a really good reason to be paying you for that because they could probably just do it for free by sticking a sign on their yard and most people go to that route until they realize the value of what a real estate agent can do for them so show them why a real estate agent is so important to them show your show them why you're more valuable than zillow and redfin and all the other one percent listing agents out there and if you are a one percent listing agent i am here to offend you charge three percent you need to be charging more separate yourself from everybody else don't give away your stuff for free guys you are worth your weight in gold charge three percent Go crush it in real estate. Guys, it is Friday. I hope you have an unbelievable weekend. I hope your open houses are fantastic. It is spring. People are out there in droves by houses right now. So go make the most of it. Come back every Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, to check out this show and join our Monday show now, which we have on my Eric Hammond page called Ask Eric Hammond. We're here to answer your questions. Anything you got real estate related, we're here for you. Guys, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. Thanks for being here, and we will see you next week.